I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. The hour cometh and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. The Office of Evening Prayer begins on page 20 in the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 136, beginning on page 506. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the God of all gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O thank the Lord of all lords, for his mercy endureth forever. Who only doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. Who by his excellent wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. Who laid out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. Who hath made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule the day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night, for his mercy endureth forever. Who smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. With a mighty hand and stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. Who divided the Red Sea in sunder, for his mercy endureth forever, and made Israel to go through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But as for Pharaoh and his host, he overthrew them in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. Who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. Who smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Yea, and slew mighty kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever. And gave away their land for an heritage, for his mercy endureth forever. Even an heritage unto Israel his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. Who remembered us when we were in trouble, for his mercy endureth forever and hath delivered us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the first book of Maccabees, the second chapter, beginning at the first verse. In those days Mattathias, the son of John, son of Simeon, a priest of the sons of Joarib, moved from Jerusalem and settled in Modin. He had five sons, John, surnamed Gadi, Simon, called Thassi, Judas called Maccabeus, Eleazar called Avaran, and Jonathan called Aphus. He saw the blasphemies being committed in Judah and Jerusalem and said, Alas, why was I born to see this, the ruin of my people, the ruin of the holy city, and to dwell there when it was given over to the enemy, the sanctuary given over to aliens? Her temple has become like a man without honor. Her glorious vessels have been carried into captivity. 
Her babes have been killed in the streets, her youths by the sword of the foe. What nation has not inherited her palaces and has not seized her spoils? All her adornment has been taken away. No longer free, she has become a slave. And behold, our holy place, our beauty, and our glory have been laid waste. The Gentiles have profaned it. Why should we live any longer? And Mattathias and his sons rent their clothes, put on sackcloth, and mourned greatly. Then the king's officers, who were enforcing the apostasy, came to the city of Modin to make them offer sacrifice. Many from Israel came to them, and Mattathias and his sons were assembled. Then the king's officers spoke to Mattathias as follows, You are a leader, honored and great in this city, and supported by sons and brothers. Now be the first to come and do what the king commands, as all the Gentiles and the men of Judah and those that are left in Jerusalem have done. Then you and your sons will be numbered among the friends of the king, and you and your sons will be honored with silver and gold and many gifts. But Mattathias answered and said in a loud voice, Even if all the nations that live under the rule of the king obey him, and have chosen to do his commandments, departing each one from the religion of his fathers. Yet I and my sons and my brothers will live by the covenant of our fathers. Far be it from us to desert the law and the ordinances. We will not obey the king's words by turning aside from our religion to the right hand or to the left. When he had finished speaking these words, a Jew came forward in the sight of all to offer sacrifice upon the altar in Modin, according to the king's command. When Mattathias saw it, he burned with anger and his heart was stirred. He gave vent to righteous anger. He ran and killed him upon the altar. At the same time, he killed the king's officer who was forcing them to sacrifice and tore down the altar. Thus he burned with zeal for the law, as Phinehas did against Zimri the son of Salu. Then Mattathias cried out in the city with a loud voice, saying, Let everyone who is zealous for the law and supports the covenant come out with me. And he and his sons fled to the hills and left all that they had in the city. Here endeth the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is written in the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 16th chapter, beginning at the 21st verse. From that time Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a hindrance to me, for you are not on the side of God, but of men. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his life? Or what shall a man give in return for his life? 
For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay every man for what he has done. Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Here endeth the second lesson. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Lord, we beseech thee to keep thy household, the Church, in continual godliness that through thy protection it may be free from all adversities and devoutly given to serve thee in good works, to the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Light in our darkness we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Amen. I invite you to call to mind some time or some way in this past day in which you have seen God at work. Give thanks for that experience and pray for the grace and courage to join in what God is doing in the world. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, 
and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.